Hi, I'm Joni. I'm one of the technicians here at Dove Lewis. Um, today we're going to nebulize and coupage this patient with aspiration pneumonia. This is my little nebulization unit that I have pre-filled with saline. Um, this patient doesn't need any additional medications with his nebulization. Um, we are just using saline and oxygen to run through so that he can um, stay on oxygen while he's receiving his treatment since he is oxygen dependent. Um, once the air runs through the saline, it's gonna come out the nozzle in a fine mist. Um, he'll inhale that and it will thin out the secretions in his lungs and make it more likely for him to be able to get those out. Um, the nebulization is just the first part. Once those um, secretions are thinned out, then we perform coupage, which is a firm percussion on his chest to help loosen up those secretions and help him cough those out. Um, so we try to pay, keep the patient as sternal as possible, um, keep them in a comfortable position while we nebulize them. Um, they, we want them to breathe in this mist for about five to 10 minutes, help say, thin out as much of those secretions as we can and give them the best opportunity to get out. So it's now been about 10 minutes. Um, so we are going to switch to coupage. Coupage is um, named because of the cup that your hand makes when you percuss on their chest. You want to have them as sternal as you can possibly get, and you want to do it evenly on both sides. Um, you're gonna make a nice cup with your hands. You're gonna make some percussions on each side pretty firmly. You want to get vibration in there. That is what's gonna break up the mucus and help him um, be able to cough it out. So I usually try to get the whole of their chest, but I will try to do um, forward motions with it. Start from the back and go forward to try and help him expel it out. So that's how we do nebulization and coupage here at Dove Lewis.